Dog parks are a known spot to socialize and exercise your dogs, but for pets that can be a little more reactive, aggressive, or sick, some pet parents can feel left out. So 1300 Sides' Andrea Florzos shows us another option. It's the Airbnb of dog parks. I started using Sniff Spot because I saw an ad on TikTok. For Soraya Holman, driving up to Twin Lake from Grand Rapids is worth it because her dogs, Whiskey and Moose, have a good time every time, running through the trees and playing in the pond. She says sometimes her dogs can come on pretty strong when meeting other pets and people. So here, she doesn't have to worry about them. They're just made for each other. They really don't play well with other dogs. So taking them to like public places to play with dogs is not a guarantee with them because they just won't play or they don't know how to play with other dogs super well. So Sniff Spot's a great alternative where you can have a much more controlled environment for your dog. CEO and founder David Adams says the platform is growing in the state and there are dozens of Sniff Spots now listed in West Michigan. Our guest spending has grown over 249% year over year in Michigan. So we're seeing a lot of interest from people that want places to take their dog. Sniff Spot was created with privacy for pet parents in mind, and people can list their property to be rented by the hour. I think we had our first visitor the first month we set up, which was in February. Brent and Chrissy Klukos listed their 10 acre fully fenced lot on Sniff Spot to make some extra cash. And since then, they've had local visitors and out of towners too. Well, we've probably got a 25 to 30% return already this year on our investment. So I think it's going to be really good. And we're looking forward to it growing and, and um, it being a way to maybe pay part of our property taxes or all of our property taxes we as we retire. And for them, it's about connecting with the guests and their pets. We love to interact in our own way by, we plant balls, tennis balls out in the woods, and um, the dogs find them at different places. My dog Murphy doesn't have a backyard to run around in, so it's important for me to find places for him to run around in that are safe and fun. We own about three acres here. Steve Van Wagener and his family just listed their partially fenced backyard in Rockford on the app a few months ago, and they started it with their late dog, Rudy, in mind. Sometimes there are dogs with social issues like ours, and this ends up being a spot where they can come without other dogs or human beings to interact with. Sniff Spot has grown to over 14,000 spaces in thousands of cities around the world, growing more and more so dogs can truly be themselves. It's really good for a dog uh, to get out and, and find a new space to run around and to explore, and we love being able to offer that. In Rockford, Andrea Flores, 13 on your side.